calling Ben. Calling ben. That is a nice looking trout that he had sent. Are we dancing? Ben We're dance dancing. break. Ooh, can't move too much in the shirt. I'm gonna pop a seam. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Ben. Yep. Ben, how are you doing? This is Paul, Outsider Tackle Box radio show and podcast. Uh, I also have a good buddy of mine here in the studio. Hey, what's going on, Ben? This is Tommy. Hey, how you doing, guys? We're I'm doing good. Doing all right. I'm, I'm actually shocked that he actually said a good buddy of his. I'm actually flattered now. I, I changed up the intro just a little bit because I wanted to, You're I, trying to, I be wanted nice. to I like say it. something and then Positive. slowly transition into the size shirt you're wearing. Oh, oh, God. Geez. Both of us are wearing size extra large, and Tommy is a 3. He says 3X. I checked his shirt. It's 4X. It, it's one of those sizes that when you look at me, you kind of go, ooh, fuck. <laughs> like, how big is that, dude? But this week's episode. What, one size too big, huh? Yeah. Oh, two sizes too big, really. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Our sponsor agreed to send him another shirt. They didn't know that we we weren't going to fit in an extra large, and Tommy said, you know what, that's not going to fit me, so. But he, he asked, you know, since we have our sponsor today who's sponsoring our show, which is uh, Zombie Baits, they asked us, you know, well, I, I offered to wear the shirt, so I squeezed into it. I kind of look like a, a Pillsbury biscuit tube that's popped already. It's, <laughs> it's all bad. But, um, you know, we're, so, we're here, so. Welcome to the show. The idea hey. behind the podcast and radio show is to spread happiness to the world through the joys of fishing and we feel like fish stories do just that fishing is therapeutic for a lot of people including ourselves and we just love being on the water mm -hmm. you sent in a photo yeah absolutely i totally agree with that and it looks like you're ice fishing it's um you know i was joking around because uh, not oh, okay it's, oh, not, just... it's just cold fishing yeah, it was not ice fishing. <laughs> there's just ice oh. in the picture yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just a snowy bank and everything where I was at. So. Oh, see, I call that ice fishing. I, I'm not to say that to you guys, but you guys called that out. Well, <laughs> you know what? We're from California. We're in Huntington Beach, and so we see snow, and we're like, that's ice. <laughs> He's ice fishing. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're, no, we're kind of used to it up here in upstate New York. Yeah, we're, we're kind of slow. Snow is new to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have to, like, we, we could go to, like, the local mountains, but it's, like, it's not, like, like six-hour drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we're supposed to get here in New York, probably, I don't know, foot and a half to two foot between tonight and tomorrow. So, yeah, should be fun. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, we'd like to oh, hear yeah. your so fish story. Cool drive for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Just absolutely. Where, uh, you, where you caught the fish, the bait you were using, and the size, if you uh, happen to measure it or guesstimate like I do. And I say, when yeah, it's, yeah he, I say, everything he catches is over like six pounds now, so it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Stick it out there so the camera can yeah, see. Yeah, he, he's like, right. oh, look at this shad I caught. It's a, it's a six pound shad. And I'm like, dude, just stop. You put it next to like a miniature yeah. toy, it looks giant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I actually caught it at a local reservoir up here in upstate New York. I live in a small little town called Renton, New York, where you about i'd say i don't know about a half hour outside of the adirondacks and everything mm -hmm. so it's just a little local reservoir um typical still late dam, dam fishing um i caught it on probably i'd say a quarter ounce size uh bronze bb nice. that one was probably right about i'd say 12 inches where i was fishing um you can legally keep up to three at 12 inches there but i normally when i'm trout fishing don't ever you know keep much unless it's you know belly hooks or whatever and you know stuff like that so nice nice now what 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 type of trout species is that is that a speckled or that's like a brown rainbow. trout that's brown a, trout oh, yeah brown. Nah, it, yeah it's brown there's there's stocks up brown. here oh, okay um, yep you got browns and rainbows in that spot i've heard occasionally the brookies are up here too but i've yet to catch one out of that spot but that's what i keep hearing i keep trying yeah with that <laughs> that's all you can do is keep trying Plus, it gives you an excuse to get out. <laughs> yeah, I've been no, fishing hopefully twice weather picks up. this year. I haven't caught anything. You, you haven't caught anything in the it's past been, four years? It's been really slow. It's been awfully slow up here. Weather-wise, it's been really tough. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. Fall time is prime up here. And 
it's just been so screwy with the weather and everything. It, it made for a really tough trout bite. But I got into a lot of you know smallmouth and largemouth this year. Okay. It's, it's been a, it's been an up and down kind of year fishing wise. You know, this time of year, last year I whacked them at this spot. I'd catch four or five browns about about that size, a little bit bigger, but not this year. Mm. Well, I mean, you know, I don't know what's going on. If it's too cold, or I don't know what's going on. Well, the new year just came around, so hopefully, it's a new year for you, and uh, you'll be able to start hitting them up right after this conversation. I'm happy yeah. you uh, sent in the photos. Yeah, we get quite a bit of people asking where to fish and any guide services out in that area, and I'm always thinking, who in our outsider fishing group or people who've been on the show? Yeah, because I, 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 and then I just name them. And I put them on so they mm-hmm. could respond. And I'm and when you sent in the photo, I was like, "Oh, somebody from New York. Let's let's get them on." Yeah, because yeah. we need some. Yeah, you know, it's the yeah, it's the complete opposite end of the country, and everything's totally different. You know, everywhere, and you know, get a little bit of everything for the piece of the country. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. We had we had a couple of people. Well, obviously, we have all over the nation, but active members just talking to people. Uh, we had a few from New York, but uh, as soon as the weather started to change, we haven't seen much from them. And so well, right they, away when we yeah. saw your photo, I was like, we got to have them. Yeah. Let's hear his fish story. Exactly. Yeah. Well, a lot of people, you know, it, it, yeah. uh, me speaking from Southern California, it gets cold in New York, though. I mean, a lot of people don't really want oh, to yeah. go out. It's, so. it's cold here, yeah, and it's, the last it's cold. It's I had was 13 degrees here right now. It's oh, how, how cold? Yeah. I'm sorry? The warm one here. Thirteen. He calling his phone. Thirteen? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Thank you. I, I mean, I I, I, I yeah, love New York. Tonight. Don't get me wrong. I love New York, but no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, by tonight, just so you know, this is what we gotta deal with tonight. It'll be a negative sixteen. Oh, high of dude, it was like four for tomorrow. Oh yeah. It was like forty degrees over here last night, and I was like, "Whoa, it's cold." Jeez, it's summer over there. Yeah, if it was 40 degrees here in New York, I'd be in a t-shirt, man. <laughs> I'd be in shorts. <laughs> I tried to get Tommy on the water uh, this past weekend after the show, and I said, let's go fish the local uh, like Bay Area. And he was he said, it's too cold. Big guys don't get in the water. I don't have waders that fit. And... My floaties didn't fit. That's yeah, what it was. That's what you said. My floaties didn't. <laughs> my floaties don't fit. Uh, see, you know, you would you would look at me and be like, dude, that guy's big. He's buoyant. <laughs> no, I, I'm like a rock. I just thunk, yeah, right into the water. Here. I don't, I don't. Well, you go straight down the bottom. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I could I could walk the bottom of the lake bed, but I don't. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on the show we enjoyed the fish story uh, please continue to send in photos we do have uh, a fish story blog it's the same format just yeah. where you caught the fish uh, the bait you were using mm-hmm. uh, and then the location if you want to tell people in just a story form some people mm-hmm. just put in like one long um, run on sentence which I enjoy I like when it's all just right. ran together one period maybe a <laughs> comma in the wrong spot that is beautiful to me <laughs> I love it. I really do. And people, I sometimes I misspell things on purpose, and people try to correct it. You they, say on purpose, but it's not. Well, I, I've I known you up, for years. Well, I mess up words <laughs> on my own without yeah, trying to do it on purpose. But when I read something like that, it just brings me so much joy, and I'm not sure why. Because you know you're not alone. I just think it's fun. You know, it's like it's real people. <laughs> this is what p- real people do. They put commas in wrong places, and yeah. I love it. Yeah, right. And yeah, they, it's a one run on sentence. Yeah. It's just why right. why does it need to have a comma there? Why can't it be on the other side of that word? And and, then, and I just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have a uh, we partnered with a fishing uh app. Um it's called mm-hmm. the Daily Reel. Yeah. And so our it's free. It's a free app. Uh and it's all about fishing. Mm-hmm. And so they are going to have our blog Yep, and they're also going to have our, our coupon right now. They have our our, da- our coupon under their daily deals, so they get a, a you get a, a one dollar box your That's first true. box. So you can check that out too. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, you can check that out too. Yeah, I, I definitely mean, will have to check that out. Yeah, so your first box is a dollar, and then uh, after that, it just you know it's the Regular normal price. normal fourteen dollars, but um, you get about forty dollars mm-hmm. worth of stuff in these boxes, so it's actually kind of cool. Yeah, so that that's what's new. Yeah. Then we're updating the store. Uh, 
and we add, we're adding on most of our products that we uh, just have like on this yeah yeah to, to the store and so we we're you can definitely check that out too. something new that we're doing yeah. so but, but yeah please continue mm -hmm. to send in the uh the photos uh, be a part of the blog too if you if you if you have time uh and uh come back on the show anytime for all from all of us here at uh, outsider tackle box tight lines bud happy saturday fish more Fish Thank you. Bud. It's been an absolute pleasure for you guys having me on the show. Oh, you're welcome Happy back anytime. Pleasure and... yeah. was ours. Yeah, Ooh. thanks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you, guys. Have a great one. Take you care, too. man. Have a great one, bud. Bye-bye. You too. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. That was a good call. Good call. He's actually at work, and...